Hi, I'm Ross Benjamin. I'm going to be previewing the Sunday night ESPN national telecast in Major League Baseball between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees game that's going to be played at Fenway Park in Boston. The opening pitch is slated for 8.05 p.m. Eastern Time. Right now, as we speak, the Boston Red Sox are a minus 135 money line favorite, and the posted total in this contest is nine. Look at folks, here's what I'm going to do with this game. I have a side and a totals betting angles, and I'm going to use those rather than bore you with all statistical details on both teams. Let's get right to them. The Yankees are averaging 4.8 runs per game this season, and the Bronx Bombers have allowed four runs or less in each of their previous five games. On the other hand, the Red Sox starting pitcher tonight, Joe Kelly, has posted a lofty 4.94 ERA in his four starts during this 2015 campaign. And the combination of those statistical facts creates a very good money line betting system. Anytime you have a road team like the Yankees that's averaging 4.7 to 5.2 runs per game and are coming off four straight games in which they scored and allowed four runs or less and they're facing a starting pitcher with an ERA of between 470 to 520 it's resulted in that team, road team that is, going 38-17 and 17 since 1997. That's a 69.1% winning percentage over that long haul. We're going to take the New York Yankees, the red-hot New York Yankees at that, plus 125 on the money line over the Boston Red Sox. Now, as far as the total goes in this game, the Yankees have allowed three runs or less in each of their previous five games, and the Red Sox have allowed four runs or less in each of their last three games. And this sets up a very straightforward money or totals, excuse me, betting angle on this contest. Anytime you have a game with a total of nine to nine and a half, the total tonight is nine, and both teams have allowed four runs or less in each of their previous three games. Just touched upon both of those facts resulted in 37 of those 46 games going under the total in the last five seasons. That's since the beginning of the 2011 season. Again, folks, anytime you have a game with a total of nine to nine and a half, each team involved in the contest allowed four runs or less in each of their previous three games. It's resulted in 37 unders, nine overs, 80.4% favoring the under, since the beginning of the 2011 season, the Yankees and the Red Sox to go under the total of nine. Once again, we're going to take the Yankees plus 125 on the money line, the Yankees, Red Sox under the total of nine. My name is Ross Benjamin. Be sure to keep it locked in right here at SBR Videos. I'll be previewing NHL playoff action and NBA playoff action later today. Thank you.